And now our final and most prestigious award goes to a patient who, despite overwhelming odds, has demonstrated outstanding courage and determination and has excelled in rehabilitation. The Spirit of Achievement Award epitomizes not only the spirit of our hospital, but embodies the tremendous value of rehabilitation medicine. Introducing the honoree will be physical therapist Alana Sharapan. The award will be presented by Dr. Howard A. Zucker, Commissioner of, of the New York State Department of Health. The Spirit of Achievement Award, our hospital's highest honor, recognizes a patient who has exhibited incredible courage, determination, and strength, spirit, in the face of overwhelming odds. It's my honor today to present this award to Thomas Gazer, whose perseverance, positivity, and unforgettable personality has made a long-lasting impression on all of us. Tom was admitted to our hospital in late April while recovering from a bypass and aortic valve replacement that was fraught with complications soon after his retirement. He suffered two strokes, encephalopathy, dysphagia, multiple wounds, sepsis, and other complications from which, which caused him to, readmit it, to be readmitted to acute care on three separate occasions. When Tom was first admitted to rehab, he was unable to move and he required commit complete assistance to eat and perform any basic tasks. He could only tolerate being awake for half an hour at a time. That is, until his daughter Kim told us to tickle his feet to see if he was baking, baking being asleep. <laughs> so that he could sleep some more. With time and the continued support of his family, Tom became more wakeful and worked hard to overcome the painful spasms, spontaneous movements, and uh, involuntary sorry, and restlessness that came with it. By the end of May, he was exhibiting voluntary movements in his arms and legs, and he was able to stand with the help of two people in parallel bars. Shortly after, he was walking with three people's help using a bodyweight support system. As he continued full throttle into his recovery, Tom met every single day and every person with a smile, lifting other people's spirits with humor, even though he was fighting one of the hardest battles of his entire life. He was ready for therapy each and every day and gave each session his all. As he continued to fight through the obstacles that came his way, not letting anything discourage him or get in the way of his rehabilitation program. During all of this, Tom's family, his dedicated wife, Marianne, daughters, Michelle and Kim, and sisters, Jeannie and Patty, provided incredible support, aiding Tom with exercises and activities to reinforce his therapy and constantly encouraging him to go the extra mile. Marianne immediately came in for family training in order to plan for Tom to go home. And his older daughter, Michelle, and her husband, John, even relocated back to New York in order to help him with his eventual discharge to home. All of their hard work certainly paid off. By July, Tom was walking with minimal assistance and completing his basic care needs with only occasional help. He had made steady gains towards um, managing his dysphagia and achieved his cognitive, cognitive linguistic goals, progressing to a full volume diet and making significant improvements in areas of memory, attention, and reasoning. At this point, he felt ready to leave, but remained patient, responding to requests to do new or challenging activities with, have I ever told you no? On July 28th, four months after of intensive rehab, Tom walked out of the doors of our hospital using a walker and occasional contact guard for unsteadiness. In the face of challenging setbacks, his positive attitude and determined spirit allowed him to overcome any obstacles he faced and excel in his rehab program with his family by his, by his side. Tom, you inspire us all with your tenacity and bravery in the face of so many odds. We're so happy to honor you today with the 2018 Helen Hayes Hospital Spirit of Achievement Award, which you surely earned. Congratulations.
<clears throat> thank you, Lona. Thank you for your countless hours of therapy to uh, get me uh, upright and utilize the use of my legs, which I honestly didn't think I would ever get. Uh, again, I thank you for that, and you will forever be in my heart for that. I want to thank uh, OT uh, staff, uh, Cindy and um, Stacy, for accomplishing much of the same, uh, getting me prepared to uh, handle the outside world. And for speech, I'd like to thank Alex who uh, helped me, uh, again, countless hours, getting my memory, uh, getting my memory back. For that, I am eternally grateful. I'd like to thank my wife, Mary Ann, and daughters, Kimberly, and Michelle, and son, John. You were with me for every second of every day, either in spirit or by my side, telling me to hang on. I love you all, and I thank you for giving me a second chance to be your husband and dad. Thank you for not giving up on me and always encouraging me to listen to the therapists and doctors. You will forever be in my heart. Thank you.